everyone except for Nighthound there, and I can't remember who the other one was that dodged. But they, they basically turned it around and came back. Oh, do we have a... Oh, my God. I've been I've had him click this entire time I've been talking, and I saw the blue thing, the bound eye, <laughs> but I just... Well, I don't know why. I just spaced it out, as that was kind of an odd choice uh, to shoot that there. Whoa! Andromeda went down really fast to that little combination. Tormented Soul is going to reveal which flint is which. And now Bubble's going to come in for the initiation. No! Actually going to have the uh, Valkyrie ultimate go off there to try and dodge any possible initiation. So nicely done there. Um, uh, I don't know if that's exactly when I would have used it, but I think since there was that risk of them coming in, that was a good opportunity. Because all it would have taken is for Nighthound to have jetted in there, you know, jumped on someone, and they had the bound eye. And then every one of them would have been in Viz, and they'd have been able to have jumped on Nighthound as their pleasure, you know, whenever they wanted. As Dark Lady is going to go ahead and farm these creeps, these ancients, and I, I didn't really watch Nighthound closely enough to know, but I mean, here's still a, a triple cam a triple stack camp waiting for him. There's not a double one there. There's not a double one there. Okay, so he just left one of these camps. I don't know if the other guys got it or not or what, but. We've got a uh, nice triple stack camp over there for him to go ahead and pick up when he wants. As Congor is still sitting here, we got to vote to pause the game. It's 28 minutes into the game. It's 18 to 28. The Hellborn is still maintaining a very solid experience lead. We have Flint Beastwood sitting on his Geometer's Bane. He's got his bolstering armband. He's going to go ahead and be working on the Ice Brand. And then probably going to go... <clears throat> Sorry, my voice. Hang on, let me get a drink of water real quick. Okay, but yeah, he's sending on a bolstering armband for the Ice Brand, which is going to go into a Frostwolf Skull eventually. Uh, Bound Eye, of course, to counter Nighthound. Uh, what else do we have here? Let's Valkyrie really hasn't picked up much of anything. Looks like she's going to be going for a Frost Brand, too. Uh, so, yep. Voodoo Jester, poor little feller. He's got some Dust of Revelation, but that's about... <laughs> it's about of his usefulness, extent of his usefulness. As Dark Lady's still trying to work towards Rundex, I'm guessing. Does she have gold sitting on? She's sitting on gold. Yeah, she's up to a thousand gold. She's a notch. She is sitting on. There we go. Go ahead and take the time to pronounce it properly. Pharaoh was hoping to get a little bit of initiation off there, but uh, unfortunately, didn't really look like there was going to be an opportunity. As do we have... What do we have going down here? Are they going to go for the Congor? Nope. Not going to do that. Looked like Glacius was planning. I don't know why he didn't go ahead. He could have used his Tundra Blast and gone ahead and shocked these little guys because these guys are not magic immune. Could have shocked those and pulled. And then they would have had a nice stack of double stacked ancients here that uh, Nighthound could have gone and cleared up because they were, they were showing real promise early game about keeping that presence of mind to do the stacking, to, you know, keep that stuff up and active. And now he goes ahead and does a little bit of damage, not really to any effect. But, uh, yeah, they were, they were showing really good promise on that. I really would have liked to have seen that from the Legion side. I'm not sure if they were or not. I wasn't watching that closely, but, I mean, it was Flint down here by his lonesome, so I don't think there was probably much creep stacking going on since his support was all middle and top. But, yeah, it would have been nice to have seen the Legion side getting stacked because Flint, or, uh, Dark Lady, when she gets that Ruined Axe, can absolutely obliterate, uh, Ancients and stack, triple stacks, quadruple stack, yeah, you can't do quadruple, but, you know, it, she will just destroy any stacking that has been done for her, and that just increases her farm so exponentially. As, I mean, right now we've got Nighthound sitting here as the highest level in the game, and, oh, Valkyrie Ultimate gonna go out... Got a double tap going out for Flint Beastwood. Flint Beastwood's going to go and pick up the kill. Yes, he does. Gets the tr the hat trick going out onto Bubbles there. We've almost got a genocide. I don't think they're going to manage to pick up Nighthound here, as I don't think they've got a stun waiting for him. Do they have a stun? Do they have a stun? Nope. Witch Slayer's out of mana, but doesn't matter. Quad kill going out in favor of Flint Beast. I don't know why I said it like that. That was kind of odd. But yeah, uh, Flint Beastwood picking up the quad kill there. Very impressive. As you know, how I said earlier that, you know, we needed to see some coordination. We needed to see some uh, action here from this Legion team. Well, that experience lead that was almost 9,000 has now dropped to 900. 
And the gold lead has dropped from, I think it was like 600 at that time, down to uh, less than that. 2,000, sorry, I was thinking about something else I was trying to remember. But they are going to go ahead and try for Congor here. They've got Andromeda going to try and loop down here. Doesn't look like they're going to get him down fast enough, which is kind of disappointing because they've got 25 seconds on Nighthound, which would be huge. I really think that that token pickup would have been really, really nice for them. As they're going to see now that, you know, he's weakened, but they didn't go ahead and go for it. So, yeah, I don't know. So yeah, I really don't want that token to land in the Hellborn side. If I'm, you know, if I'm rooting... Oh, actually, they are going to go ahead and start on this Congor, and Nighthound is going to make his way there as quickly as possible. And the Legion doesn't have any vision to see what's going down, so... Wow. Yep, that was, that was very, very unfortunate, I think. I think that they could have killed Congor, they could have been done with it. They probably would have lost Witch Slayer if he'd have stuck around, but... Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know very very unfortunate for this legion team to go ahead and lose the token of life to the um, hellborn here as nighthound is <laughs> deciding to go ahead and wrap up these creeps instead of go ahead and get the token oh they're gonna go ahead and let pharaoh get the token okay makes some sense because pharaoh's the one doing all the jetting in there and you know doing the, the heavy lifting on the initiation side but kind of really would have liked to have seen Nighthound pick that up. I guess he was the last man standing last time, but yeah. Hopefully that just doesn't get wasted is my concern. Oh, we got the, the counter ward action going out here as, of course, Flint is, has that bound eye. Running around with that and going to be doing some damage. Icebrand finally finished on to Valkyrie. Sorry, guys. Didn't mean to yawn. Uh, that's finished there. That makes me want to check on other folk. Rundex, there we go. Rundex finished on Dark Lady. She does have the Mighty Blade now. So she is probably going to go ahead and work on a Shrunken Head, I would imagine. Just my thought. As oh, Okay, we're going to get to see finally. Oh, is she going to get purged, though? Don't get purged, don't get purged. Okay. She did go ahead and take him down. Uh, but yeah, see that? Triple stack. They had that sitting there waiting for Nighthound that entire time, and he didn't take advantage of it, so Dark Lady... One, two, three, punched it and took it out in a hurry. As, ooh, what do we got going down here? What do we got? Oh, boy. As the Valkyrie ultimate goes out, and they are going to go and run in here and start the initiation off. They do catch Pharaoh out on his own. I mean, Nighthound's trying to run down and take down Valkyrie, but very unfortunate the positioning there. Uh, they, Flint does go ahead and manage to... Oh, who picked up a double tap? Light blue? Bubbles? Bubbles picked up a double tap. Wow. As now things have all gone completely wrong, I guess it's support for support so far. So not really horribly bad, but the token of life probably making a little bit of a difference in that fight. As Pharaoh did go ahead and go down, so that's out of the picture. That's good news for the Legion. Don't have to worry about that right now. As, you know, we've got... Okay, let me think about this. We've got... Wait, come here, you... Okay. Nighthound working on his Frostwolf. That is actually Frostwolf there with those two items, I know. But I was trying to remember earlier, and I apologize about that. My noobish habits. Uh, but yeah, he's working on something there. I'm assuming Frostwolf since he's got Ice Brand and the um, Blessed Orb. Portal Key onto Bubbles, as we just saw him use it just now. Portal key there, that'll be a nice item pickup for him. Tablet of Command being worked on by Andromeda. Glacius already has his, I remember. Flint Beastwood, how you doing, buddy? Uh, that much closer to his Frostwolf skull. Actually, not all that all, all that far off at all. What's his gold currently? 979? Yeah, he'll be there anytime. Anytime now. Anytime. Uh-oh. As we got Pubble... Bu Pubbles? We got Bubbles coming in here. He does get the ultimate out, but unfortunately... Whoa! Really bad uh, positioning there as those two guys got com caught completely out in the front. Pharaoh was s next in line as he's probably going to go down very quickly. He does go and go down. And Nighthound and Andromeda forced to retreat. We got Valkyrie trying to do a bit of a rundown. Oh! Dark Lady going to clean up. Got a double tag. Tap, not tack. Uh, she's 9 and 6 so far, is legendary, 
has 337 gold per minute. Uh, Flint is sitting at 395 gold per minute, and I... Uh, what's his gold up to? Oh, yeah. He should be able to go ahead and get that. Where's that at? Is it on its way? Click the monkey, dang it. There we go. And Shrunken Head coming for Dark Lady, too, I would say. Is that the case? Yep. She can probably go ahead and... Wait a minute. Wait a second. Yeah, I don't know who the Shrunken Head's for. Oh, my gosh. I would assume that that is for... Frost Wolf Skull onto Flint Beastwood. That is going to be very, 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 very detrimental to this poor Nighthound as... Okay. Yeah, that must be Dark Ladies or Chessy. Chessy, Chessy. Which one's Chessy? Yeah, that is Dark Ladies. It's just Dark Lady doesn't have the other pieces to it yet. Uh, but anyways... Sorry. Uh, that will be very detrimental to Nighthound. Because as long as Flint can see Nighthound, I think that with a Frostwolf Skull and Geometer's Bane, etc., I think Flint will be able to get the drop on him. I mean, a 1v1 battle, we're looking that Flint is probably going to be able to out-carry uh, 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 Nighthound at this point, simply because his attack speed's through the roof, he's got good damage by this point, and the Frostwolf Skull is just going to make it so much harder for Nighthound to get caught up to him and do that damage. I mean, he's got his Blink Attack, which will be nice. That'll, that'll definitely help help with that issue, but I don't know if it's going to be quite enough. Oh, we've got a Frost Wolf Skull picked up on Nighthound. Never mind, that'll balance things back out. As, yeah, I think that'll, that should do it. That'll do the trick. So, yeah. Forget what I just said about that being hugely detrimental. It still will affect Nighthound quite a lot. As, oh, Witch Slayer got completely caught out there. Very unfortunate. Did manage to get a nice stun off, though, catching two people there. Five second arrow going off Iron Andromeda. Tablet of Command being used very nicely there uh, to go ahead and shove her away. Puzzle Box minions coming out. Puzzle Box level one from Pharaoh. The ultimate going off onto Pharaoh there. Boom. Does some damage. Doesn't do too much, though. As we're going to see a counter push coming out now, finally, from the, the Hellborn. It's been a long time since they've been this way. Uh, gonna see what they can muster up as Valkyrie's kind of playing a little dangerous here, a little far forward. Flint Beastwood's illusions running up, hoping to do a little bit of damage, doing quite a bit of damage actually, as uh, coming into nice effect so far. But uh, not really sure why he's not moving up to move in position there, or using those to scout or something. I know he doesn't want to lose them just yet, but yeah, they don't have that long a life. Uh, what a revelation over here to catch the Valkyrie ultimate. Oh, what am I missing? Flint Beastwood has his Ogre Axe. Probably going to be going for uh, magic immunity there. Uh, which Slayer's not important. Valkyrie going ahead and picking up the Frostburn. Uh, going to go ahead and finish the whole kit and caboodle there. Oh, the ultimate coming out from Pharaoh onto Witch Slayer. Witch Slayer going to go down very quickly there. Uh, I think Bubbles has something that I wasn't paying attention to. No, maybe not. But yeah, two people going down there. Andromeda's gone down for the, the Hellborn here. Glacius may be joining up very soon. Dark Lady has her shrunken head. Been doing some good damage here, but unfortunately goes down to uh, Nighthound. And now Pharaoh probably... Oh, she got glitched out of it. Oh, boy. How did he get so much HP? Wow. As, yeah, quad kill coming out onto Nighthound. That's very, very bad, and he has a bound eye now. So, Dark Lady, I don't know what you're doing. You're not going to be able to match up to him. Oh, well, you can kill that Bubbles really quick, though. Oh, that is just horrible, horrible, horrible. Yeah. Um. I don't... <laughs> I just don't know what to say at that. Uh, new Nighthound was in the vicinity, and instead of, you know, standing with her front towards him, trying to desperately attack, you know, I don't know, she was probably screwed either way, but that that cloud meant she was not going to get anywhere. He has Frostwolf Skull, too, so she was double not going to go anywhere, so she turned her back to him, so he automatically gets all the agility bonus from his backstab. <sighs> I don't know. I, I don't know what the right thing would have been to have done there, but I don't think that 
trying to run for that long was th the ticket. She was the only one alive, and yeah, it, she wasn't going to be getting any help. 